Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, got a little bit of something something um, that I believe that we should bring to your attention. We have had quite a bit of interest in the Secure in One's Property Fourth Amendment program. I created the program, but I thought everybody knew these things. We have people riding around in their vehicles, and their vehicles are not registered. What they do not realize is that there is no law requiring them to register their private property. Congress does not have any authority over your private property. And don't take my word for it. Go and look at the amendment. The Fourth Amendment, the first thing it says is the right of the people. Now, why does it start off with the right of the people? Why, why does the statement start that way? Well, you have to pay attention. You have to go back and look at the First Amendment. I'm not going to show it to you. I'm going to employ you to go and read the Bill of Rights. You see, the Bill of Rights is a complete document. That's why you don't see the 10th, I mean, excuse me, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, the 25th. None of that junk is part of the Constitution. The Bill of Rights was the security. That other junk is not the security. That was junk Congress created. That's why you see they're not. none of them are ratified. People say they ratified the... <laughs> 14th Amendment and 13th Amendment. Ladies and gentlemen, they didn't ratify that. You guys don't understand what ratification is, and I'm sorry that people don't understand what the actual ratification is. Ratification was that the people, the majority of the people in each state, had to vote on whatever the initiative was. Then their representatives, their Senate and congressional members for the state, took the vote of the people back to Congress in the capital for the country, which at one time was Pennsylvania. Now it is Washington, D.C. And once they took it to them, then all of those different states' representatives were to vote on the will of the people, not their stupid conscience. Stop letting them tell you that that's the way it is done now was the way it was always done because that's not that was not the intent of the people. The people didn't want a country where other people were making decisions for them. Go back and look at the first 10 amendments. It specifically documents that they don't want nobody making decisions for them. So, the first amendment, Congress shall make no law. Well, what can't Congress make a law against? All of the things in the first 10 amendments. Come on now. First Ten Amendments. That's why it starts off with Congress shall make no law. That's where they presume Congress were the law makers is because it says Congress shall make no law. Well, the way laws are supposed to be made, the so-called legislative process included the people. When they talk about, well, bills are introduced to Congress, no, sorry. Bills are not just simply introduced to Congress. Bills are introduced to Congress by other congressional members. Pay attention. That's why they have to sponsor it because it has to be the will of the people. Not some congressional member having some lobbyist come and talk to him. All right. Now, that's, sorry. That's how I get when we talk about the Constitution. So, I digress. Ladies and gentlemen, the First Amendment says about Congress being prohibited from denying people freedom of the press from denying people their right to petition government for a redress of grievances. Then it talks about the right to bear arms. Everybody has always presumed that that meant guns because they were using guns back then. No, the right to bear arms is exactly what it says, arms. People had the right to protect themselves. They had a right to defend themselves. And that's what the Second Amendment is all about. It's not a about you having the right to walk around with a gun. That's what it has become because people have focused on guns. But you do have the right to protect yourself. Where do you think Florida gets their stand your ground law? You have a right to protect yourself. 
Then you have the Third Amendment, which talks about the military. Now, that lets us know we're supposed to have a military, but that's we know that the military is to protect against foreign invasion. So they're not supposed to be in the United States. They you can Well, they have military bases. Well, only because they're to protect against foreign invasion are military bases considered sovereign territory. Technically, they are not sovereign. But because they operate under the authority of the sovereign, their territory is sovereign. Now, the Fourth Amendment. The right of the people to be secure. So the Constitution covers secure rights. The Constitution doesn't give you a right. The Constitution secures those rights that are already possessed by you. That document can't give you nothing. It never gave you anything. It protects you. So stop saying, I have constitutional rights. No, you do not. I have rights that are secured by the Constitution. And you took an oath to uphold the Constitution, so shut it up. Okay, now that we understand that, the Fourth Amendment says you have a right to be secure in your person as an individual, both physical and metaphysical, intellectual. Then you have a right to be secure in your possessions. Whatever is in your possession, remember, possession is nine-tenths. You have a right to be secure in your home. They cannot invade your home. And your automobile, pay attention. And you have a right to your assets. These are rights not granted to you by anything. These are your rights to begin with. That's what the people determined in the Bill of Rights. So, in creating that program, there are a couple of things that are necessary. And one of the things that are necessary is for you guys to go to SACOM911.com. You're going to see this page. We're not changing this page. That's why we had to do it this way. These are the links for the our current program, the Fourth Amendment Secure in One's Property, can be accessed here. So you're going to have to, ladies and gentlemen, copy this link and paste it. If you copy the link and you paste it, 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 you're going to go here. This is the page it's going to take you to. Hold on a second. When you go to this page, now pay attention. It's on the Artful website. Pay attention. Scroll on down. And here's the payment link. Now, we talk about the deceit in the state, ladies and gentlemen, and gaining control over the minor account and all of this other stuff. Well, and I don't like the way this page has got this site because it's got it all the way over here where it's all the way to the edge. And that's not how the site is on every browser. So I apologize to you guys for that. But what you all, give me a second. I need to see what this is talking about. These cases all hold that the all capital name is a convention to distinguish the corporation from a natural person. Okay, these cases. So. We are highlighting the fact that that all capital name, uh uh, want to gain control of that. So we have to decease the all capital name because it's not a real person. It's a legal fiction. It's a legal persona. It's a legal fictio. Persona fictio. It's a fiction. It's not real. And so that's what we document. Don't worry about it. You're not arguing with them that it's not real. You're just making them prove that it, that you're wrong. You don't have to prove that you're right because we've already done it for you. We've already provided the fact that they already know this. Okay? They, they weren't expecting nobody's inner monet. All right. So that's one. Want to let you know. That's one link. Now, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen. The link, because many people are not going to know how to get a deceit in the state EIN number, the link for that is here. However, because individuals are going to need assistance, it is $33 because we get charged a tax every time we have a transaction. So the deceit in the state secure program conditions apply. This is for that. This is $33 because that is the cost. That link will take you here. Okay? 
So you copy and paste either link as suit your preference. Sorry, right there is where we need to be. So there you have it. It's on the SACOM website, and it's right here in the very first section. Many people have been asking for the link, and here we temporarily provide it this way. Only because of, I wish I could tell you all the things that the system is doing to try to stop us from presenting information. Some of you have listened to the videos and seen all of the complications. So we are getting ready to resolve that in so many different ways. But until we are able to, we're going to provide this information for you as best we can. Thank you for taking the time and have a good day, everyone.